Hey there, thanks for joining me. Today the moon is in Libra and so we come full circle from where we began this moon cycle with the October 2nd uh, solar eclipse in Libra and uh, now the moon has gone through all of the zodiac signs completing its time with this Libra energy as we are heading toward the uh, new moon in Scorpio on Friday. So we are completing and releasing the Libra energy. I'm Marina Orms here with your Astro Vibe for Tuesday, October 29th. And uh, I've been sharing in recent videos of the last couple of days about a grand sextile this week. We have a grand trine in water signs, amplifying whatever vibrations we are putting out there. So be conscious of your vibes. Be conscious of um, choosing to be positive if uh, hopefully that is what feels right to you to um, put out some positive energy and it will be magnified with this grand trine energy. Um, of course, negative energy can be magnified as well. So step into that cho choice of what feels important to you, what you care about consciously and um, your positive choices will be magnified, even if you find yourself going uh, in a place or find yourself in a place of stress or worry. It's just about becoming aware that you are in that pattern and uh, reminding yourself that you have another choice. And what would you like to invite in to your space that feels more positive? Because it is that conscious choice that gets magnified in a pot but right the positive choice gets magnified even if it began as a negative unconscious pattern um it is the positive choice that shifts us into um something that can get you know then magnified because the universe loves consciousness so when you are choosing something consciously uh it responds to that so okay so libra moon today and uh, we've come full circle through all the signs of the zodiac libra is about partnership cooperation collaboration relationships balance peace right your relationship with yourself so it's a great time to reflect on what has been unfolding or emerging for you throughout this month this moon cycle related to partnership relationship cooperation and collaboration and what you've been learning about balance in your life and how to bring more balance into your life what it looks like what it means to find some peace, right? To tap into peaceful feelings, um, even though we are in times that feel unstable sometimes, that, that can be an extra challenge to say, well, you, um, you are, it is up to you to choose to feel peaceful, right? <laughs> no, nobody is dictating to you that you must feel um, stressed out just because there are things going on in the world. So, um, so that is your choice. It is your choice to attend to your inner needs, your inner need for calm, your inner need for rest, rejuvenation, restoration of energy and balance, right? Finding that place of inner peace where your balance gets restored. So give some attention to that. Reflect on what you've been learning uh, about how to create balance in your life. Ask yourself, you know, what have you discovered about balance or what is there for you to discover today about balance that, uh, um, maybe you haven't tapped into yet. And it's a great time to just reflect and ask those questions. As we head into the new moon, we are releasing, we are letting go, we are bringing completion to this moon cycle. So we're in that process 
uh, for the next three days until Friday. So, um, so really, uh, you know, thinking in terms of this, this uh, being on the other side of something and uh, bringing a, a feeling of um, reflection and what is it that uh, you, you need to still attend to, to feel complete with this work you are doing on uh, finding peace and balance. And what does it mean to show up authentically as yourself, right? Th that is a kind of balance. So where you make yourself small or silence yourself or say, no, I'm going to, I'm going to hold back and let somebody else take up space. That is a way of getting out of balance because real balance means showing up. It means bringing yourself to the table. It means bringing your energy as an equal right? Libra loves equality. And, and so seeing yourself as equal. You also may notice, you know, maybe there's a place where you need to allow someone else to be equal. Noticing if you have an unconscious habit of dismissing someone in your space, you know, your, your family, your workplace, like a group you're in, any anything where um, maybe you need to listen a little more and let someone else take up a little bit more space. That's another kind of balance. So these are good questions to ask ourselves related to the Libra energy. What does balance look like? Where do I need to um, make a shift that will help to restore balance um, in a way that is better for the whole, right? Better for the whole self better for the whole of the group. So that's what we want to think about in terms of self-care related to Libra. Libra is an air sign. So always great for thinking and writing and journaling and communication for saying what needs to be said and listening to what needs to be heard. Right. Okay. So that's how we can think about balance. Hopefully this gives you some ideas to um, how to think about this energy and work with the Libra moon today and, um, and also with the uh, water grand trine and the sextiles that are going on. So if you missed my video from Sunday about the grand sextile and uh, yesterday it was great to just to understand how to work with this energy of activation and amplification and um, what's going on this week that might be um, kind of happening on deeper levels, especially with the uh, upcoming Scorpio new moon, Scorpio being known for transformation, themes of power and uh, death and rebirth. So it's a, it's a good time for um, dealing with some deeper changes. All right. Thanks so much for being here. I'm Marina Orms. You can learn more about me and how to work with me at astrologyheals.com. Thanks for being here and subscribing. I will see you next time with more Astrology for Unshakable self-care. Bye for now.